first half. And, um, you know, I thought Jeremy played a very, very good game. He thought he gave us some good minutes there. Uh, obviously came back with Corey when Steven fouled out. But, you know, again, um, with the way we were playing defense and the things that we were doing, um, you know, I didn't think the defense was that major of a problem. You know, he was 10 for 25. It's not like he shot a really high percentage. He made some great shots coming down the stretch. But I thought we put him to the free throw line too much. Um, and then, and then for us, we couldn't score. We scored 16 points in the fourth quarter. You know, that that was a challenge for us as well. Coach Billy, um, excuse me, uh, Stephen Ab seemed kind of bothered by his wrist. Um, do, do you feel that, that kind of played into him picking up two quick fouls and just kind of having kind of a bad night during the game, or was it just simply one of those nights? No, I don't think there's anything wrong with his wrist or him. I mean, I think he's fine. Um, you know, I thought it was very difficult for him tonight. He was. He was in foul trouble. You know, he picked up two fouls pretty quickly in the first quarter. We had to get him back. And then he went back in there in the second quarter. I got him off at the end of the second because I didn't want him to pick up his third. He picked up two pretty quick fouls in the um, uh, in the third quarter. And um, you know, they kind of came back in the fourth. And it, it, it just, he, I don't think Steven was able, ever able to get into a flow or a rhythm uh, for himself uh, because he was battling foul trouble. And, and probably, you know, Gobert probably went through the same thing in, in game one. Uh, and, and with Russell in transition, it seemed like the Jazz really made an effort to do Euro fouls. Did, did you feel like they had any to do? What's that now? Euro fouls. What, what is that? Fouling him in transition. Oh. Um, did you feel like that had any influence on Russell's rhythm tonight? No, no. I, I think sometimes when, when you do do that, it moves you closer to the bonus. Um, you know, I think most NBA teams, most NBA players, do that. You know, when there's a disadvantage for the defense and. They don't want to give up a layup or an open shot. They'll they'll do that. So it, I don't think it broke Russell's rhythm at all. Uh, Fred Katz, Norman Transcript. Billy, did you feel like any of the fourth quarter offensive struggles? I mean, I know often you guys only have three or fewer shooters uh, on the floor. Do you feel like any of the offensive struggles just came from the fact that they weren't necessarily guarding the perimeter on some of the below average three point shooters out there? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, did you feel like any of the, the offensive struggles in the fourth quarter came from the fact that the Jazz were helping pretty hard off of the three-point three point shooters, or was it just a case of missing shots? No, I mean, listen, Jeremy had a wide-open three from the corner. I thought Paul got downhill one time. He had a great opportunity to finish. Um, there were some plays. Patrick had a couple of, of, of shots around the basket you know, you know, early in the quarter. We, we didn't finish. Um, Ray missed a three, made a three. Um, you know, Russell had a couple pull-ups that I thought were wide open that were really, really good looks. I thought Melo got a couple good threes. So um, I think our main guys got, got pretty good looks, and I thought we moved the ball to the open man. Um, I thought we even had times when we, when we rolled to the basket and we had a presence at the basket, we had a hard time finishing there as well. You know, we just didn't, just didn't score enough points. Two more. Billy, I just kind of want to clarify, is there nothing wrong with Steven's wrist specifically or just no injury at all with him and his right arm, shoulder, anything? Not that I'm aware of. I mean, okay. again, when you know, I, I, the one thing I would res say about our guys that I respect is that when those guys go on the floor and play, you know, whatever ailments they're having or dealing with, um, you know, they're certainly cleared to play. I think this time of year, probably nobody feels great. Uh, but there was nothing, you know, that I'm aware of that's limiting Steven. Um, I'm sure as much as he puts his body in play and as physical as he is as a player and the way he sacrifices his body for the team, I'm sure there's probably different things that uh, that he could be dealing with. But there was nothing that was mentioned to me that said, hey, listen, you know, take him out. He's limited. You know, I don't know if he can play. There was nothing like that. Anyone else? Thank you, Coach. Thank you.